Good evening. Managers at a Sussex care home struck by COVID at the start of the pandemic last year say they're having to fight once again to try to keep the virus at bay. Four elderly dementia residents died at Carlton House in Hove last April and now in the second wave two more have died. Staff believe lives could have been saved if the latest lockdown restrictions had been brought in sooner. Our special correspondent Colin Campbell has the details. Well, our health correspondent Mark Norman is with me now. And Mark, there's still such concern about care home residents during the pandemic. Absolutely. And the key to keeping them safe, of course, is the vaccination programme. And we can give you some statistics around that now. In the government version of the South East, there are around 45,000 people eligible for the vaccine in care homes. They vaccinated well over 42,000. That's 94%. There's a bit of a gap there because some people who've tested positive for COVID in the last 28 days can't have the jab. But the NHS tell us they are actively making sure they vaccinate as many people as possible. And how are the vaccination rates looking in the wider population, Mark? Well, what we've got are figures released every week for the 70 plus age group. And we have a look at those for our region. In England, around 86% have been vaccinated, had their first dose, that is. We can look at our counties, so Surrey, Sussex and Kent and Medway. You can see Surrey at 867 is doing very well. Sussex, Kent and Medway a little further behind, but really they are, those averages are not necessarily particularly accurate. Everyone tells me within the NHS they're not leaving anyone behind is the phrase they use. Big focus on this this weekend and a very strong message tonight from politicians. The message. Well, let's take a look at the latest coronavirus infection rates across the southeast. Every area of Kent, Sussex and Surrey has fallen compared to this time last week and rates are now less than 200 per 100,000 people in every area except one. That area is Crawley with 224 cases per 100,000, but that's still significantly down from almost 350 last Friday. Maidstone has the second highest infection rate in the southeast with 179, that's just above the national average. Then comes Reigate and Banstead with 160. The lowest rates in the southeast, Rother, with 59 cases per 100,000. That's down from 173 a week ago. Canterbury is next with almost 74, then Tunbridge and Morling at 79. Both those rates have halved week on week. Here are those percentage changes right across the southeast. Rother, Ada, Eastbourne and Gravesham have seen the biggest week on week falls. Maidstone and Dover are two areas where rates are coming down more slowly. Well, this week we've been marking one year since the first coronavirus cases were recorded in the southeast. It's been a devastating period, of course, for public health, but also jobs and livelihoods in every community. Peter Whittlesey is in Haywards Heath for us live at the moment. Peter, good evening. So many people have had their lives turned upside down this past year. Very sorry, we seem to have lost the sound to uh, Peter Whittlesey there. That was Peter Whittlesey reporting from Haywards Heath. Well, it's exactly a quarter to seven. Let's recap our top story tonight. <laughs> Now, an RAF veteran and Team GB para-athlete from Gillingham has taken to his bike in lockdown in an attempt to cover one mile for every NHS hospital in the UK. But you won't see Darren Young on the icy streets. Instead, he's trying to cover over 1,200 miles in his back garden, despite being in constant pain. After years of back, neck and shoulder treatment, Darren's raising money to give something back to the NHS. Our sports reporter, Juliet Parkins, been to meet him for tonight. Tonight's special report. Gillingham. Now, when Zoe and Bruce Henderson were woken in the night by strange noises in their kitchen, they assumed one of their pet cats was getting up to mischief. The truth, though, was rather stranger and bigger than they'd imagined. A badger who'd made his way through the cat flap into their home in Salt Dean near Brighton. And as Piers Hopkirk explains, he's become a regular visitor. Now, many of us have turned to the comforts of food and drink during lockdown, haven't we? Yes, but one Kent mum has turned her love of cocktails into a new career. Ill health forced Tammy Jackson to give up her job, so she built a bar in her living room in Hildenborough near Tunbridge and started demonstrating her drink recipes to tens of thousands of followers on social media. As Leanne Lawless reports, Tammy's determined to make cocktails easy for everyone, especially this Valentine's weekend. If I 